Yo, what is going on everybody? Today I'm going to be bringing you a quick video of five basic essential effects that you need for your music videos. These are pretty much like bare bones, basic effects that um, even if you're doing advanced stuff, these are pretty good to know just to throw them in. First effect I'm going to talk about is just a basic flash. So here's my first clip and then it's going to transition into my second clip. I'll play it. So transitions right there. So what you're going to want to do to add this basic flash is just go over here to effects, look up additive additive dissolve drag that on the border right there and then you're just gonna want to zoom in here's what it looks like if you just keep it like that it's just gonna wanna it's gonna do like this fade but we don't want the flash fade to be that long so we're gonna take it and we're just gonna make it really small so it's just a flash like that see so it's just a white flash happens real quick it looks cool and it's a good transition effect. Now, the next effect that I'm going to show you guys is probably one of the easiest effects that you can do, and it's just a high hat cut. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a part that you want to cut, um, Control K, or I think Command K on Mac. I'm not sure about the commands. Uh, move over one frame, so just click on the right arrow key once. Uh, Control K again. You can also use this little razor tool if you want to. And then what I do is I usually click the first frame. I hold down Shift click the second frame, the third frame, and then I don't want it to end on a frame that's still there. I want it to end on a cut just because that's my personal preference. So I'll make one more cut just so whenever I select all of them, it'll just be nice and clean, just like that. And now you have your hi-hat cut. So let me play that for you. It's just going to flash back black like that. It's kind of a short one. And you can also do this with two frames, not just one frame. So you can really customize that however you want. And then this gives you a lot of leeway for things you can do. Uh, you can add effects to these specific clips and make them crazy um, to just give it that more of like flashed out effect. Like if you really wanted to, I can duplicate all these by holding down alt and dragging them up. And I can make these uh, look crazy. You can add an invert to them. If you guys are new to my channel, I like using the invert effect a lot. Invert, I put luminance on it, so this is what it's going to look like. Hi-hat cuts, just like that. Kind of a cool little effect, so you can really play around with uh, what you do. You can even make this um, different opacity. So I'm going to change the opacity and put these all on pin light, just because I think that looks kind of crazy. And it'll add a little bit more of a unique look to it. So I'll show you what that looks like. So this is just hi-hat cut with just some added effects like that. So that looks pretty cool. It changes the line color like that. Okay, guys, effect number four is going to have to do with color. So what you want to do is bring up the color tab in the top in the top of your screen. And you're just going to want to change something a little bit. You can even undo it if you want. But once you change something in um, the Lumetri color panel over here on your right, you're going to see it in your effect controls. So make sure you highlight your clip and click effect, and click effect controls. It should be up here. And then... You're going to have all these little options. And the reason why you want to see it in your effect controls is because if you come down here to color reels, you're going to see these little keyframe um, time, time stop animations. Let's go back to the beginning of this clip. Say we want to give it that nice hue transfer. This is the very first keyframe we want. This is basic color. And let's say over here, we want it to be really blue. Let's try and blend this in like that. And then when we want this here, we want it to be really, really green. I'm gonna go through and add a bunch of more, a bunch more random ones, so it's more cycled. It's just kind of like craziness, colors changing back and forth, like that. And then let's see what it looks like. So kind of just like party lights it pretty much looks like but it gives it that kind of like different look and you can always add something over that uh, creative things you can actually keyframe also if you want to put the saturation up crazy amounts and then drop it down something like that so you can really keyframe any of these color things and it'll just make like a crazy kind of look like that see okay fifth and final effect is just going to be the mirror effect this is a pretty easy one. Just search a mirror in the effect in the uh, effect search bar, and then drag it onto your clip. And you're just going to go over here, change the reflection angle to 180 degrees. Click Enter. The screen's going to turn black. Um, just go over here to the reflection center and drag that all the way over like that. 
drag it a little bit back. If I'm doing a crazy effect like the mirror effect, I also want to go back and I usually throw in an additive dissolve like I was talking about at the beginning of this video because it gives it that nice little flash that lets you know that something different is happening and an effect is coming into place. So like that, flash, like that. I also like to give it another additive dissolve when it goes away just to give it that nice flow of the effect. So there you go, flash, flash out, just like that. Alright guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If this was helpful, please leave a comment, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. If you also want to see more tutorials like this, I'm going to link the um, playlist for my editing tutorials at the very end of this video. So I hope you guys check that out. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.